All right, everybody. How you doing tonight? I don't expect a lot of you to actually be watching this, but I figured I would give you a live update of some things that I'm working on for future uh, purposes. If you were paying attention to the Facebook page, then you probably noticed I went on a rant about Facebook because I'm sorry, I think Facebook is garbage. Their software is garbage. Well, I shouldn't criticize too much. It's more than I could do, but their interface is just an absolute pain in the rear. So I'm changing things up. I'm no longer going to be doing the live streams on Facebook. The Renaissance Builder live streams are moving to Twitch. So we're going to be streaming the live streams on Twitch and YouTube. I got to figure out the whole uh, OBS software package, whatever. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to be streaming to Twitch and to YouTube every Friday night on the, on the Renaissance Builder live stream. But one of the neatest things that I've got in the works is we're, I'm working on revamping the entire live stream setup. And one of the things that I just got working right now is something I'm excited about. So check this out. I now can capture my oscilloscope. Well, for those of you that know what you're looking at, it's a little different than that. But I can now capture my oscilloscope to the stream. So anytime we want to actually look into some electronics and we're doing testings of any sorts, you guys will be able to see it live on the screen, no goofy videography involved. So I think this is going to be interesting. For example, let me just do a little quick setup here for you. Uh, so we're going to take this down to one channel. So we're gonna do traces, let's do trace one. We wanna take this out, so disable. Um, I do not wanna display trace one. I do not want to display trace three, which is <laughs> trace three is burnt out anyhow. So, and we're going to go to trace. All right, 100 volts. Do 200 volts. That should be good. Now we exit. So, say I want to say I want to test my live voltage going on here, and I want to show you guys what it's like. Right? Well, I can just hook up if I don't blow myself up. And yes, the cameras are going to be different as well. There you go. That is actually not that great of a sine wave. <laughs> I've seen better. But my point is, I am going to be able to show you guys using my oscilloscope actually on the screen what it is we're working on in the voltages and you'll be able to better understand what it is well hopefully better understand what it is that i'm talking about so this is exciting to me um, being able to show you more clearly the the voltages so this is literally the 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 line voltage coming out of my outlets um you know so i can describe it you know this is a sinusoidal wave you know our peak frequency we can go through a measure but it looks like it's a 160 volts peak you know so when i tell you that your your 110 volts out of your outlet is actually a an average a an rms which is root mean square of the actual signal has to do with that curved sine wave but i can tell you that if you multiply your 110 volts by 1.4 then you'll get 160 peak voltage I can actually show you 160 peak voltage. So this I think will be more interesting. We're also gonna add some cameras and some views and hopefully I can actually not be so boring to listen to. <laughs> That'll be interesting. So just wanted to show you guys this and update you. So keep insight in the future. We're going to be doing the live stream on Twitch and on YouTube and uh, Hopefully, it'll actually be a more entertaining event. So thank you very much. And uh, that's all I wanted to say tonight. So you guys have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>